Hoo hoo hoo! And he's fishing. Hey everyone, it's Andy here. So a bit of a different mission today. As you can see, there's actually Ruth in the back here. Hello. That's uh, Noah's mum, and Noah's driving the car. Hey yeah. <laughs> We're on uh, Noah's uh, 2,000 acre property in uh, northern New South Wales. And it's a real mission today because we're trying to get to a river that's got fish in it. So, yeah, we're not sure if we're even going to get down there. But uh, have a look what we did yesterday. It's, um, it's pretty wild and there's more wilders to come, so yeah. Check this guy out here. This is an echidna. They're only found in Australia, and they eat ants. And uh, yeah, there's no way I can get him out there now. Not that I really want to. They um, they bury themselves in, and they push their spikes up like this. They're a pretty cool critter. They um, they're actually a, an egg-laying mammal, and they're not related at all to the porcupine or hedgehog or anything like that. And they're around here with really sharp spikes. We'll let, let this guy be. But that's cool to find that. Wow. What's that noise, noise Noah? That noise <laughs> is... I don't know, I can't Can't see. even see. That's just my back tire disintegrating. <laughs> I think I'm running on three tires. So three tires, yeah. yeah. That's why they make them with four, so you've got an extra one. Yeah. Let's have a look out the window. So this is Noah Hard at work. We're um, just replacing this lovely tyre. Where are you? Say hello. Hi! <laughs> got a uh, there's a little bit of damage there. There's wire sticking out. But the good thing is... We made it back up the hill without having to, to stop and change tyres because um, yeah, his spare was flat too. <laughs> so we're going to try and get down to the, the river today, um, Yeah, catch some lunch, catch some dinner. Don't know how long it's going to take. We may not even get there, but um, give it a shot. Paddock's clear. Yeah. So we're just trying to find another shortcut here. Um, it's going to save us a couple of kilometres if we can get through this, this creek here. Looking a bit rugged. Yeah, actually this isn't bad here. Let's see how big's the wheelbase. I reckon this could work here. I'm just worried about this edge here. So how'd that feel? You look like you're a bit sideways there for a while. <laughs> the car was on like this sort of angle, but... I think I had four wheels on the ground most of the time. Most of the time, yeah. yeah. Most but of the time. sometimes most one of them would just be spinning. You know? Yeah. <laughs> There's a few rocks that flew out, I moved them. Come on through! You can see all the little trees that Noah's chopped down with his brush cutting blade. Um, it's a very impressive little blade. And there's, there's Ruth doing a bit more clearing. I'm, I'm generally doing the big branches and she's doing the, the small ones. So, but I mean that's what it looked like before we, before we cleared it. And it's interesting, it's, it's exploring on a whole different level. I think we're actually doing quite well. We were um, maybe doing two to three hundred metres an hour. Uh, I'm just driving the car up to, to where the others are. All pretty buggered. We've come, how far have we come? Four and a half k's maybe? Yeah, maybe five. Five k's and we've got 500 metres to go. Actually no, we've got 300 metres to go. But um, we're just going to have a little, little rest. I'm going to make a little soup. 
Um, this is really cool. It um, yeah makes things hot real quick. And you guys are going to have a cup of tea and coffee. I'm having a noodle. These guys are having cups of tea or coffee or whatever. And um, Noah suggested that I have a little fish. And, uh, and after he makes us a cup of tea with this thing. <laughs> this is very nifty. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's the first time I've used it, actually. A couple of minutes and we all had... Yeah, hot water. Hot water, <laughs> cups of tea, yeah. So what, noodles. So what Noah was suggesting is that I go and have a fish while he keeps working, which yeah. I'm, I'm really cool with. <laughs> but we have come a long way and we've done really, really well today. So I'm going to go catch a fish and hopefully we can catch it, uh, eat it for dinner tonight. We're getting macaroni and oh, cheese and you just add it. hot water to the cup. So Noah's actually um, cutting a bit more while I'm walking, but I'll see you in an hour. Bring back a fish! <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> oh, now, where to go? Oh, it's going to be a, a challenge. Oh. We had a look at the, um, I've got a little map on my phone and it's about 200 odd metres through here, so it oh, well, shouldn't take us too long. This is what Noah's been um, yeah, brush cutting through for the last, last two days really, so yeah, anyway, let's keep going. See at the water. And you can tell here that the forest has changed. We're down actually on the top of the river bank at the moment. It doesn't look like it because there's grass everywhere. <gasps> there it is, we've got to the water. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I better not get too excited. I don't want to don't want to scream and yell too much. It's um it's quite low. There's um yeah, it's um I was expecting a little bit more water than that. But first pot, the first spot, the cast will be right over there. Look at that. There's like a big root ball. Should have nice deep water under it. So the rod I'm using is a Temple Fork three-piece travel rod. It's a um, very nice little rod. And the reel is a Battle, uh, what is it, Battle 4000, um, Battle 2 4000, um, quite nice as well. And I'm just going to put on whatever this guy is here. I, um, I bought him on my last trip but never used him, so it's a surface, surface lure. Yep, nice good drag. Yeah, it's actually quite shallow, like maybe, maybe two foot just here. But it's um, it feels like I'm the first person in here. I, I guarantee there's not a lot of people come in here. Cause it's just so hard to come. Let's um, Ooh, that looks tasty. Uh, first cast, nothing on the first cast, but that's all right. I like how this lure works. It um, yeah, it just wiggles soft from side to side. Oh, oh <laughs> I shouldn't have struck. Oh, there he is again. That was a fish. That was a fish. Oh, and he's still there. He's still there. He's under it. Here he is. Oh, I just took off. Oh, I struck too early. That was a fish. Oh, I'm excited. This is only the first little pond. Um, I can still hear Noah chainsaw um, brush cutting, so we're good to go. I'm going to have another go in there. But that... That was a good sized fish, maybe around the 60 centimetres. Oh, I'm excited, this is so cool. We spent t almost two days getting in here and I've just missed a fish. So I think that's why I missed him. The hooks are tangled up. That's, um, that's bad actually. All right, hopefully he'll come out again. I'm not sure if he will, but... Oh, there he is, he's looking at it. He's looking at it. He's looking. Oh, and he didn't like it. I think he remembered it from the last time. All right, I'll do one more cast, but I think that fish is onto us. Got him, yes. Ah, oh, it's only a little one, I think. <laughs> oh, I think he's undersized, this one. Oh, but we've got one. How cool is that? I don't want him to fight himself out a little bit. Murray Cod in a remote little creek. This is cool, this is so cool. Okay, let's get him in. Just get a measurement first. Yeah, no, he's about one or two centimeters undersized. Ah, 
look at that. Ah, oh, beautiful Murray cod. And the other one, the other one that came out before, he was actually um, probably 10 centimeters bigger, so he was legal size. But this guy's at least, I'm going to say two to three centimeters undersized, so we're going to have to let him go. This is so cool. Don't bite me. Off you go. Hey. Ooh, he's gone. <laughs> Way cool, very cool. So, I mean, there's not much here. It's, it's an overhanging tree, a little bit deep water, and a couple of rocks, and that's what held him. So, um, we'll actually, we'll go further up. Look at these boulders up here. That looks like really good country further up. Um, actually, that root ball looks pretty good too. So, let's let's get a de decent one. We need we need one that's between 55 and 75 centimeters. Oh, that's a good one. Yes. Oh, I think this is the one. Oh, he's not too big. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm glad I had another another couple of goes there. I thought I'd go up that way a little bit. And, um, yeah, then I went back in here. Oh, actually, he's quite big. He is a big fish. He is a big, big fish. Oh, he's stirring the bottom up. Trying to knock that lure out. Actually, that lure is right down his gob. That is a good size fish. Oh, let's get him in. Just got my lip grippers out. These guys tend to shred you a little bit. Got him. Oh, that is actually a very nice fish. Let's uh, let's get him in the shallows here. So that's 52. Yep, it's under 75 and it's over 55. That's our dinner. Look at that. Oh, sorry fish. Now, normally I'd let them go, but um, we've come all the way in here. Very few people ever get in here, and I think there's quite a few in here. We'll, we'll fish a little bit longer, but I'm going to take this one for our dinner tonight. That's, that's um, yeah, plenty for the three of us. What a beautiful fish. Okay. I did a proper measurement, and he's 72 centimetres. So, definitely legal fish. I'm going to see if there's any more in here, but this is going to be our dinner. Anything else I catch now, 100% let it go. And as I'm walking through here, these, these aren't people footprints, these are all animal footprints. You can see all little dots going that way, little dots going this way. Some, some of these are kangaroos, like, yeah, the paw prints, that, that there, that's a foot, whole foot of a kangaroo. So it's really cool. This is a um, little oasis in the middle of like a really dry country. It's, it's very dry country here. Um, and these water holes, they, um, they really concentrate the animals. I can hear Noah getting really close, but I, I want to fish the end of this pool. There's some big rocks where the, it's like a waterfall comes down, and I really want to fish it. So we'll just run up there really quickly, and I think he's just about finished. He sounds like he's about 50 meters away, so he'll be happy we've got fish, but I just want to fish that end of that pool. Check out this, it's like moss on top of lichen that's really pretty that's nice i like to look at yeah like nature as i'm exploring and it's, it's just cool to see all the different things like obviously the water's normally you can see the, the line there that's where the water normally is so it's very low water at the moment but um yeah they're still fishing here they um they have to be in here so let's try actually we'll sneak around this corner here and fish around here i think that's going to be really deep there If I did that, something would come up. <laughs> oh, he's only a little guy. I just let him tire himself out a little bit. <laughs> I thought if I walked it around here, that there had to be one in this corner. Just had to be. Um, actually, we'll swim around this way. I don't want to lift him up by the lure. That is cool. <laughs>
<laughs> that is so cool. I love it. I love it when fish do unexpected things, and that was yeah, that was very unexpected for me. <laughs> Let's get the lip grippers again. They do have um, little raspy mouths. There we go. Now he is just under size again, I think. He, he could be close to size. Let's have a quick measurement. That's 26. You know, he's probably just under size. But beautiful, beautiful Murray Cod. Eh? Love the little white bits on their fins. Yeah, these guys are a little bit skinny because they're not getting a lot of food with the water so low. Um, I think their biggest food, like their diet, is um, like yabbies and shrimp. And uh, when the water's low like this, there's not much food, so we'll let him go. Get this, get it. Now, there he goes, he's off. Yeah. Eh? Very nice. Beautiful. How cool was that fish? There was like a little little L-shaped like a bay and I knew it was deep and I just put that lure in front and I knew one had to come up sooner or later. They might be a little bit dopey. Um, the water's low, probably quite warm. But yeah, that was cool. Okay, this is going to be the last little section, I think, because we've run out here. But yeah, it's good, good country in here. It's a lot of boulders. Let's see if we can coax one out. I mean, I've already had a great day helping Noah open that road. That was just, just really cool. And then coming to a spot that we, um, we suspected had fish. Neither of us have ever fished in here. Um, and then to pull out at least three fish so far is just really cool. And now uh, yeah, amazing Murray cod. It's, um, it's really cool. And everyone, if you want to see me come back here, I've got an idea. I want to get Solly, which is Noah's son, onto a good Murray cod. So everyone, like, comment, let me know if you want to see that video. And we'll come back here. And I think Solly's like eight or nine. He hasn't caught a big fish yet, so I think that would be really exciting for him. Anyway, let me know. Thumbs up, comments. Um, let's go and go and find Noah and his mum, and we'll see what the reaction is to the fish, and then we'll go and cook it. All right. So yeah, brush cutter's definitely stopped. So I think it's time to go. Let's see what Ruth thinks of this fish. Hi, Andy. Hey, Ruth. Look at that. Wow. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's uh. It's, it's a nice fish, isn't it? Let me get a picture. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is the same bit I filmed before, and Noah has, in an hour, brush cut about 200 meters of, um, of bush. That's pretty cool. Let's see what he says about Mr. Fish. I reckon he'll be very excited. Here's Noah. What do you reckon? That is massive. <laughs> it's not bad, is it? Yeah, it's only um, three centimeters below maximum legal. So, have a look at it. She's a beauty. Yeah, and you you did an amazing job all the way down the waterhole. I know, but now my chance will always die. Yeah. But it looks it looks fantastic, eh? Yeah, it's amazing. It's open. <laughs> Yay! Yay to everyone! <laughs> yeah. Fish and brush cutting doesn't get better than that. It was amazing. <laughs> totally amazing. Let's go eat. Let's go eat. <laughs> but how good is this track? It's pretty Beautiful. Good. It's amazing. It's like a drive through the forest. <laughs> Literally, on like through the forest. <laughs> well, just just go and check it out. This is the uh, the first crossing we did today, and we had a bit of a slippage before on a, on a rock, so we don't want to go across here if it's uh, going to be slippery. Yeah, it feels okay. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit that left. Oh, there's a diff on the ground. We're in trouble. Ooh, that was bad. I don't know, we might be walking home. <laughs> I think that's a diff touching the ground there. Maybe I'm on the wrong side. Yeah, no, there's actually, uh, there's not a lot of, um, the, is the hole's bigger than I thought on this side. Yeah. So, Noah, what's going on? 
got a flat tire again. <laughs> and we're in a and really good we're, spot. We're, we're we're halfway up a mountain here. Yeah, a slight cliff on this side. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, it's too far down there. Yeah, I'll just show you this tire. So this is the second tire on the second day. That one, we actually got no traction. We've just let the front wheels down a little bit. And um, yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking about climbing on the bonnet to get a bit more traction. What do you reckon, Noah? I reckon that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> you would, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna straddle the bonnet. <laughs> I don't know. So we let the, um, the air pressure down in the front tires and we've made it to a, a reasonably flat bit. We're still about a kilometer from the, the shed. A uh, tiny bit more there. But yeah, what a mess. Look at that. That, that tire lasted about 30 meters. Whereas the tire yesterday, we, we probably drove about two and a half kilometers on it and we could have driven further. But yeah, this tire here has just totally shredded itself. But luckily we got a spare tonight. It is lovely. It feels really good down there. Yeah. Can you count the plies in there? Mm, none. <laughs> none. <laughs> These ones are beautiful. Yeah. But I need to get up higher. Up a bit higher. Yeah. Oh, usually, usually when it's late like this, I don't feel like cooking no, the fish. You know, like, okay, I'm gonna have it for breakfast. I've actually I've, I've got an idea for cooking the fish. Sorry. So I mean I was gonna do it two ways, but I think we'll just do it one way. So I've gutted the fish. It's um nice and clean in there. Noah's on the camera. Uh, Ruth's holding the light. <laughs> it's all pretty rustic here at the moment. So I'm going to fill up the fish, we're going to make little fish fingers, I'm going to coat them with, with a special ingredient later on. And we are going to do it two ways, Noah's going to cook the frame on the fire, so we don't waste anything. Um, so yeah, I'll just, I'm just going to yep, fill up this fish. That is looking like a very tasty fish. And it actually smelled good when I cut it open, so I think we're in for a treat. These um, freshwater Murray cod tend to have a, a nice amount of fat in them as well. But it'll be sorrel and and some cabbage and it'll have some seeds and then just a nice simple dressing. There we go, we've got the Look shorts. at those two whoppers. This, this recipe is really simple, I've never done it before, I've done similar things. I um, usually get fish and I crumb them with chips but this time we've got fried onion. How does that sound, Noah? That sounds fantastic. <laughs> Sweet and crunchy. Yeah, so the, the onions are actually um, pre-fried. Come from an Asian grocer and we're just taking the chunks of fish off the skin and just coating the fish in those chunks of onion. This looks Noah diet friendly. <laughs> Thank you for accommodating my eating disorder yeah. and not going just for a standard no, no flour batter. Flour or breadcrumbs or anything like that. That's about a kilo and a half, maybe two kilos of freshly crumbed fish. Let's go and cook that up. It actually looks pretty good right now, but it's going to be tastier in a second. All right, this is Noah, Noah cooking the fish frame. We're going to just put the whole fish frame over the fire and that should cook nicely. And we're going to put these on now. Oil looks nice and warm. Oh yeah, that is warm. I think I just cook the end of my finger there. That'll be yummy. That'll be yummy. You'll, you'll have some of that? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is that's smelling pretty good already. That looks yummy. Oh, yeah. That looks delicious. Can you smell it already? I mean, all I'm getting is fried onion at the moment. Yeah. I think I'm just going to cook his tail a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> but he's actually looking alright too. He's got, yeah, it's got, some, got some tastiness going on there. You'll need to go a bit longer though. Yeah, I'll put yeah. them over a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they're not sticking at all, look at that. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Oh, that one's good, nice golden brown. 
Yep, they're good. You see that one there. That, that one's, yeah, and no, I'll get that one. But I just like the look of this one here. Yeah, you can have that one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Alright, we'll get this fish out and we'll put the next lot in. They look good. Look how good they look. Look at that. So, you getting a good photo there? You getting a good video? Yeah. Alright, we'll get the rest out. Now, you guys, when, when you eat this, I want your honest opinion. Alright? Mmm. Total, we'll see how we go. Yeah, you know, total honest opinion. The last time we ate was now 14 <laughs> hours ago. <laughs> you want an honest opinion? No, well, everyone thinks that I, I, I just talk it up, but I think this right. is going to be very yummy, like delicious. You know? I've decided that you, you make people work for eight hours <laughs> to cut a track good. to the creek. Let me, let me put some more fish in and we'll, we'll try this out. There we go. That's all right. It's really special. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. Yeah, nice. And the fish probably tastes quite fresh, does it? Very, very nice. <laughs> very, very fresh. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I think mean, I mean, we all need to eat some of that. That sounds great. Mm -hmm. You trying some? I think I've got your yummy golden bit here. <laughs> oh no, you can't eat my yummy golden bit. Mm. Oh, the onion is so crunchy. Yeah, describe it. I want, I want, I want you to describe the fish, the, the onionness, or what, whatever you can taste. Oh. <laughs> you, you don't have words for fish, do you? It's just all. I don't have words for fish. <laughs> but does it taste good? It tastes fantastic. Yeah. I thought the onions were going to be a little bit. Burnt, Beaver maybe? From being burnt, but they're not at all. No, they're all good? Yeah, it works really well as a batter. Alright, let's see if I can describe it any better than you can. You probably can find a few more words. I don't know, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not necessarily that good at it. <laughs> There's more it. golden bits than you imagine. Yeah, look at that. That's a really yummy golden bit there. Let's try it. This has been a really special meal. Mm. Really the whole, special the whole day, day thing the right there. The whole yeah. day has been fantastic. Mm. Yeah, I find that hard to describe. <laughs> it's really, it, really nice fresh fish. It's beautiful. The onion's not too strong. Mmm. Mmm, very nice. So, thanks Noah, thanks Ruth. Thanks had, Andy. Had a great day, actually. Had a great weekend. And um, everybody else, I'll see you next thanks. time. Yeah? <laughs> All good. Thanks for watching everyone. Please subscribe and click the notification bell so you get notified of my new videos. I do them every week. I'd also like to say a big thank you to my Patreon supporters and people who've donated through PayPal. Some of you have gone far beyond what I've ever expected. Every little bit helps. And if you want to see more right now, click the, uh, the links above. Catch you next time.